So this is kind of a uh, Magnus Answers. Not specifically, but let me explain. So got a friend named Melinda. And Melinda posted on her Facebook today this, uh, <laughs> this, okay? And if you are educated with reading and writing, it says, oh shit, she's pissed. Better ignore her for a few hours and make her even angrier. Like every fucking guy, I swear to God. And uh, so I commented, LOL, because I had to laugh at that shit because I know something of it. Her friend posted, LOL, seriously, are they stupid? And then Melinda says to me, um, Tyrone, is it true? Is that, you know, you men's logic? So let me explain this to you first off, okay? This dives into the realm of the differences between how men and women communicate, okay? If you ever read the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, he hit the nail on the head a few times with a few different subjects with men, it, it, men and women. It's a pretty good book. I agree with everything, but it's pretty good. So one of the things he talked about is that when men have a problem, they go into their cave. When women have a problem, they talk it out. So you got women that are angry at you that want to talk. And chances are, if they have pissed you off, if you, if you have pissed them off, they've probably pissed you off. So then you want to go into your cave. You don't want to talk. This is the reason why men um, shut down in the middle of an argument. See, usually the argument, see, see, it'll start as a discussion and it gets into a heated argument and it turns into, a, you, you know, just all, all out chaos. And the men shut down because at this point, they're like, okay, well, apparently I, I haven't solved the problem, so I need to think about this. I need to actually calm down and not be pissed. We're actually trying not to be pissed anymore. I'm a guy, I'll tell you, I don't want to fight no more because I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to keep from blowing my stack. But women need to talk their problems out, which is the opposite. So y'all want to keep hammering on when we don't. That's why girls have their little therapy sessions and they meet out with their friends for lunch at Panera Bread and they talk for eight hours because that's their therapy session. Men don't need to do that. See, women, I know that um, a lot of times in arguments, sometimes we're texting and we're arguing, you'll send us three pages and a half of what you had to say and we'll say K. And we know that y'all that pisses y'all the fuck off. But we answered you. We're saying we understand. Like, it's just y'all use so many more words than us per day. Like, it's something like y'all use like four to 6,000 more words than we do per day. That's a lot of fucking words when men are pretty simple, okay? Because men will say, like, for example, we see each other in the street. If I just see a dude I ain't seen in a while, hey, what's happening? <laughs> That said, everything that I had to convey, not seeing him in a long time. But y'all like, oh my God, Kelly, I'm seeing you in a long time. Since your mother and the party, you know, so much way. Oh, you're so pretty. I was a baby. I had a new job. And nah, 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 nah. Y'all got a whole lot to say. That's your way. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's different. So, when you get into this whole ignoring thing, like, for me, for example... Um, I'm a calculated arguer. So uh, I, I was told by a boss one time that um, he used to call me lawyer because he just told me that I like to argue. I don't like to argue. I like to get an understanding of a situation. But I won't lie. I'm not flawless, okay? So sometimes if I know what your weakness is, I will exploit it, okay? Okay. And if I know, see, most men do know, though, that if we ignore you, that it's going to piss you off even more. But you you have to realize that you do know that we're doing it because you've already pissed us off. So we're sitting there like, you know what, I don't know, look, this, this is the, an exact reactment, reenactment of a man getting your text and not talking to you. I already fucking told her. Like, why is she going over the same shit 
again and again. We just discussed this. I'm not talking about it no more. I already told her I didn't want to argue. Not to fuck it. You know, and they won't talk to you until they're calm enough to talk to you. Okay, so in my opinion, the best thing to do whenever you have an, a disagreement, whether you're married, whether you're a budding couple, whether you are together for a little bit, is you need to be able to, on a serious note, sit down and have a calm discussion, letting each person uh, convey their ideas to each other without interrupting and being able to have the patience and the mild temper enough to take um, constructive criticism and listen. I think that's bestly, I mean, not bestly. <laughs> the fuck did I get that word from? I think that is um, the best way uh, to handle it. That's what I think. So keep that in mind, ladies, that when a man starts to ignore you, it's because he's getting angrier and angrier. And he's actually trying to stay calm. Okay? I'm not saying either side is right or wrong. I'm just trying to give understanding to that particular thing. And I laughed my ass off when I first saw it because I was like, it's typical men women stuff. It's typical men women stuff. You know what I mean? You know, it's like guys like cars, women like jewelry. I mean, it's just this is this age old thing that goes on between men and women all the time. So um, I hope I've helped. I've rambled enough. Maybe you laughed and smiled and had a good time listening to this. But yeah, so I'm going to post this on her page so you can get some, under you and your friends can get some understanding of the male counterpart of this species. One million subscribers. Woo!